begin in San Diego. Giants Padres first road game of the year for Barry Bonds. But that's Matt Cain. You better know about Matt Cain. He is one of the best arms in all of baseball. 6'3", 235. Cain some trouble in the first. Walking the bases loaded, but again, 95 mile an hour provolone to Khalil Green, who is a noted giant killer. Dave Rigetti talking with Matt Cain. Rigetti, giant pitching coach, settle down, find your spots. Here we go. Finds his spot. 94 miles an hour to the fourth. Here's Bonds. 21 homers from becoming baseball's all-time home run king. Reaches out, slow tapper against the shift against Chris Young, who was pitching well all night long, as was Matt Cain. Pitcher's duel here, Brian Giles to center. Dave Roberts in front of the wall. And for effect, he sells it for sports center purposes. Well done. Bottom of the sixth, Josh Bard. Oh, the Yacker gets him on the one-two pitch. Mike Cameron can't get the hanging Yacker out of the zone. How about Matt Cain? He's a no-hitter going into the bottom of the seventh. Khalil Green, he always takes the hanging breaking ball, throws it into the corner. That's a double. The no-hitter broken up in the bottom of the seventh inning. But the game is still scoreless. 0-0. Later, two men on. Randy Wynn deep in the corner. Makes the catch. Khalil Green tagging from third. Jeff Blum with the sacrifice fly, and the Padres take a 1 0 lead. Here comes Trevor Hoffman in the ninth for the save. Gets away from Bard, but he'll track it down and get Pedro Feliz. Bonds 0 for 2. Two walks. Padres win a pitcher's duel. More on Bonds' first road game later. Coming backs, presidential hopeful John McCain on hand for the D backs home opener. Top 6 2 0 Reds. Jeff Conine. Testing Eric Burns. What a season Eric Burns has had so far. This is a top play nominee. He came in hitting 355 with seven ribbies as well. He went one for four in this game. Bottom eight tie game at two. Not anymore. Orlando Hudson is second home run of the season. The D-backs win their fifth in the row. They're off to a six and two start. Best start since 2000. Hey, is it that time? Yeah, baby. All right, Butchie, it's top plays. I'll do number 10. Phillies Mets, David Wright. Shane Victorino robs him. Wright not happy there, but he would be later because the Mets won the game 11-5, to and Wright would drive in two. You got a cute way of talking. That's my Leo Sayer with allergies. Oh, boy. All right, you make me feel like dancing. You know, Clyde Drexler yes. is still alive and uh, dancing with the stars. Good to hear. If he moves on, well, we'll find out Tuesday night. ABC. Number eight, Royals Blue Jays. Troy Gloss looking for space, finds it. Vernon Wells trying to score from second. Gunned down by Emil Brown. Oh, here comes trouble. Yeah, Blue Jays wouldn't need that run. They won nine to one. All right, number seven, Giants Padres. Brian Giles believes at this moment, I have an extra base hit, perhaps a triple. Dave Roberts, oh, the catch and sell it, Dave. Oh, yeah, throw yourself into that wall. However, Matt Cain and the Giants lose. Number six, Raptors T Wolves. Four close pass, Ricky Davis. And a dunk in the Luigi. How sweet was that? TJ Ford with some madhouse. That Ford can fly. Yeah, you know, Linda, they say Derek Jeter can't go to his left. Oh, really? I, That's who? I believe he just went to his left. Yeah. Doug Minkavich, the helper. Then Robinson Cano. He goes to his right well. That's good Yankee interior defense. Pabano pitches well. Yankees win. Number four, Lakers Nuggets. Sound up. Bello blows by Oh, and he throws it down. Holy cow. Only two cows. Mello with 33, Nuggets win. All right, Akinori Iwamura, he plays for the double raise, and watch out for this guy. He can play some defense. He looks like Ichiro at the plate. He's hitting the ball well. He's fielding well. However, in this game, the Rays fall to the Rangers, 8-4. to four. Did you say the Rangers? They oh. start Thursday. Yeah. Tayshawn Prince posterizes oh. Eddie Curry. Take another look. Pistons win the Knicks. Will they play, will they play game three and four of that Rangers? There you go. All right, number one, Arena Football, Georgia Force, Philly Soul. Chris Greason to Troy Bergeron. Hockey name, Bergeron into the wall. Arena football. Played at Cleveland, Tuesday's promotional giveaway, Rick Vaughn glasses. Indians and Brewers mascot having some fun as the fans do the wave. Hey, heavy snow <laughs> forecast for Milwaukee. It's following the Indians, <laughs> evidently.
Oh, there's your home. That's strictly some fancy animation right there. Okay, bottom two, two outs. Runner on for Kelly Shopik. Uh, Irvin Santana, do you put snot on that ball? Indians take a 2 0 lead. And Matt, look at look at how accommodating Bernie Brewer is. He led slider. Go down his slide. All right, top third, 2 1. Runner on first, Orlando Cabrera, Josh Barfield to dive, stop, flip to Johnny Peralta, double play. CeCe Sabathia getting some help. He went seven innings, one earned, seven Ks. 7 6, and well. You know, Charlie Sheen unavailable and, and, and not in the shape he was in when he was Rick Vaughn. Uh, Joe Borowski in for the save. Eric Ibar pinch running. Howie Kendrick was four for four. Uh, Ibar, you're no Willie Mays Hayes. He'll think twice before he steals. 7-6, winner Indians. From Milwaukee to Boston where the home team was actually the home team. Red Sox and Mariners. Hey, Boston, what do you think of your new man from the Far East? And how excited we are to welcome this young man to his new home. Pitcher number 18, Taisuke Matsuzaka. But that has to be Apparently, they're pretty excited. First road game for the M's. First start as an M for Jeff Weaver. First inning, and he'd like another chance to make a first impression. Manny Ramirez there. Julio Lugo scores. The Red Sox get four in the first. They get three in the second. J.D. Drew, former teammate of Weaver's when they were at the Dodgers. His first home run as a member of the Red Sox. Weaver, two innings, seven hits, seven earned runs. Your ERA, dude, 31-50. Yay. Josh Beckett looked good for the second consecutive start. And if you don't believe me, ask Ichiro. And no translation necessary. Beckett, seven innings, eight Ks, gets Ichiro three times. Fifth time in his career, Ichiro has struck out three times. Beckett and Tim Hudson, only pitchers to get them three times personally in a game. These are the things that happen when it's 14 to 1. Brendan Donnelly strikes out his former teammate Jose Guillen, and then they have words. Dude, you never call me. Dude, I lost your digits. Well, you know, a lost phone number is just one thing that will empty a bench at a major league ballpark. No punches thrown. Boy, that's a surprise. Guillen tossed. Uh, let's have a legal flashback. Mid June 05, I think we all remember this. Uh, Frank Robinson was the Nationals manager, and uh, they were playing the Angels, and he asked the umpire to check. Brendan Donnelly's club and <laughs> yeah pine tar they found and and Donnelly well well Sosa and Frank Mike Sosa and Frank Robinson argue the bench is clear the bullpen is clear and, and Donnelly is wondering I got to talk to Guillen my my former teammate hey dude did you rat me out and it was Jose Guillen is the one who told Frank Robinson that Donnelly uses pine tar. Now let's snap back to reality in the next batter after Guillen, and you know what Brendan Donnelly did? Oh, you can't do that. He hit Kenji Jojima. Donnelly ejected. The Red Sox fans happy. They win 14 to 3. Chilly night in Pittsburgh. Another low scoring game. Cardinals just can't get the offense on track. They're down 2 0. Men on first and second. Nobody at Albert Pujols deep to left. Jason Bay makes the catch. That's the good news. Now, the bad news is he's got a couple of options. Do I throw to third to try to get David Eckstein or throw to second to get Chris Duncan? Chris Duncan represents the tying run. Throws to third. Duncan wisely advances to second, which means the tying run is in scoring position. And Scott Spezio brings them both home in the top of the ninth to tie things up at twos. Extra innings we go. Top 12, bases loaded, one out. Skip Schumacher flies to left. Jason Bay trying to be the hero. Throws home. Ball not caught. Cardinals win 3-2 despite the lack of off. Arizona's won five straight, six and two, and frankly, for some, that's that's quite surprising. Diamondbacks hosting the Reds, who got off to a four and one start before losing their last two. Josh Hamilton, you remember him? Top, top overall pick in the 1999 draft. Tampa Bay, he's had some problems. Uh, Edgar Gonzalez with the problem there. Hamilton's first major league career home run. And <laughs> Hey, Hamilton! They gave him the silent treatment for a while. That tied it at three. We go 11th inning. Scott Hairston facing David Weathers. Hairston doubles over Hamilton, who wishes he had longer arms. Hunter Jackson scores all the way from first. The Diamondbacks win at 5-4. Sixth straight win for Arizona. Florida's won three in a row, and for our purposes, that's a bit surprising. Marlins hosting the Brewers. Rick Vandenherk, seventh player born in Holland to play in his majors. Parents flew over. That's a lot of frequent flyer miles. He went four and two thirds, five Ks, five hits, one earned. Ninth inning 
Milwaukee down 2-1, top nine. Jorge Julio trying to close it out, but, but he's not caffeinated. J.J. Hardy with the ground rule double. Ricky Weeks, who stole second, scores, and this game is tied at two. Let's go two out, second and third for Milwaukee. Johnny Estrada, the hit to left. Josh Willingham preserves the tie. This game heads to extras. And this game was suspended and will be continued on Wednesday because of rain. The Oakland bats have been slumbering thus far. John Garland hoping to keep him that way. He's six and one his last 10 April starts. Bottom three. No score runner on first. Milton Bradley grabs into a 5-4-3 double play. Garland seven innings pitch. Doesn't give up a run, but does not get a decision. In the night, the Athletics down one nothing. Trying to rally. Two on, two out. Todd Walker pinch hitting. Scott Pesednik's throw is high. Run scores to tie the game at two. Bobby Jenks hadn't given up a run all year. He has now. Mark Ellis deep. Pesedna can't make the catch, and Ellis is Johnny Drama. Victory! Marco Scudero scores. Walk-off win for the A's. You've seen Drama's billboard. So, Jack tells me you got a great big top ten plays. Yes, I do. And may I see that? At number ten, Royals Blue Jays, Alex Gordon. They call that a seed. That's uh, Josh Towers, his first career Major League homer in the Royals win, 6-3. Number nine, number nine, isn't that how you do it? Ricky Weeks shot to right, Cody Ross. Not a thing of beauty, but hey, who cares? He keeps a run off the board, the rain came, so the game's still going on. It will be until Wednesday. At number eight, Bobcats entertaining. Raymond Felton to Gerald Wallace, and they beat the Heat. Wallace with 24 and 10, Bobcats by 10. Champions League, I believe Roma beat Man U last week, and Man U took it person. That's Wayne Rooney, brilliant, he's brilliant. Man U, the religion, they win 7-1. At number six, Brewers Marlins, Corey Hart flare to left, Josh Willingham. He'd make a catch that would, would actually help send this game to extra innings where then it was suspended. Women's World Hockey Championships, Canada, USA, mostly Canada. Five one Canada. Thank you. At number four, White Sox A's, Eric Chavez, John Garland. Good thing I've got fast reflexes. Garland, nice reaction, makes the play. This one would end badly for the White Sox late. Number three, Mariners, Red Sox, David Ortiz. Grounder, they've got the shift going on. Unieski Betancourt, nice dive, and Ortiz, not the swiftest fella. From the seat of his pants, he gets Ortiz, but the Red Sox would score two touchdowns. At number two, top third, Angels Indians, CC Sabathia getting some help from Josh Barfield. 4-6-3, inning ending a double play. Orlando Cabrera feeling like he got robbed. The Indians would win this one 7-6. In honor of the Aqua Team movie, number one in the hood, G. Syracuse Cornell, Peter Colaccini makes a couple of unbelievable saves to keep Cornell at bay. But with eight seconds left, Max Seaball for Cornell, right at Colaccini. He shoots, he scores. Cornell remains number one in the line with a 16-15 win over Syracuse. That's a blood feud, that one.